Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Update video. You see, it's been a little bit, I think maybe close to a week and a half since we last talked about the brand new voice actors coming to Security Breach, but today we are finally putting a close to that book, as far as I'm aware. So if you have not been paying attention to scottsvoices.com page, the, the voices have stopped, or at least they have slowed down. We haven't gotten a brand new one in a couple of days, so either this is just a bit of a break from getting voice actors, or these are all the voice actors we are going to have. I feel like that first option is the most likely. I feel like we're probably going to get a few more, seeing as this game is just absolutely huge, so maybe, but at the same time, I can't say for sure. So we have three new voices to talk about in today's video. One from the 19th, one from the 22nd, and one from the 24th of July. So let's not waste any more time, and let's hop right into the news. Let's all smash the like at the same time. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Alright, okay, so as I just mentioned, the first one we are going to be taking a look at is the one posted on July 19th, and this is for Kid in a Box. Is it the puppet? Is it like the crying child in the FNAF 4 box? I got no clue. Maybe it's something entirely different. Security puppet? Again, no clue. It's also worth noting that maybe these are not for Security Breach. I should have mentioned this at the start of the video, but if you guys are unaware, Scott is also making a game um, by himself that he said is going to be coming out later this year. So all of the voices that we've been talking about could be for that separate project, but I'm saying that they are for Security Breach because we know more about Security Breach. Honestly, it's like a 50-50 split. It could be for Security Breach, or these voices could be for Scott's own game. We really don't know. But again, because we know basically nothing about Scott's project, that is why I'm grouping these in with Security Breach. So hopefully that doesn't confuse anyone, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from here. It's a little bit difficult because, again, we know nothing about that project that Scott is working on, so that's why I'm choosing to you know, say that these are for Security Breach, and if they end up not being for SB, whatever. Okay, getting back to Kid in a Box. Um, a kid by the name of Jaden got this role, and he left a review for Scott saying, Excited, honored to be part of this project. Scott was easy to work with, relaxed, clear directions, fast decision, and payment. Great, great experience. So, going back to the speculation territory about what this kid in a box could be, Again, there are many possibilities. It could be the puppet, it could be security pu puppet, it could be a child inside of the FNAF 4 box. Maybe after over um, five years, we will have an answer about what is inside the box. That just reminded me, the old game theory that Charlie was in the box, you know, like the, um, I believe it was the kid version of Charlie was inside that box that she sees in the fourth closet, I want to say. So maybe that's it, but then again, Jaden is a male, so that doesn't work out. Again, not much is known about these voices. Uh, Scott is very cryptic, he's very secretive when it comes to voices, especially with the titles, so it's really hard to pinpoint what exactly he's trying to go for. I should mention this, uh, all of the Voices.com pages that we are looking at in these videos, including previous ones, they will all be linked down in the description, so if you want to go check out the voices, feel free to. So moving on to the second voice, uh, we have a second voice actor for Friendly But Annoying Cleanbot. If you guys remember, Joe Gaudet, the voice actor of Rockstar Foxy, Funtime Foxy, and Mr. Hippo in Ultimate Custom Night, previously had that role. So maybe there's going to be two annoying uh, but friendly clean bots, or maybe Scott is going to choose between um, Steve, which is the brand new voice actor, or Joe. Steve left a review for Scott saying, Pleasure to work with, fun project, and Scott gave the freedom to interpret character role. Hope to work with again. Also, if you want my speculation on what the friendly but annoying clean bot could be, I did a previous video on these voices. We've done, this is like the third video we've done, so go back and watch those. But basically, the title's really self-explanatory. We think it's gonna be some type of janitor hand unit type of character, which I don't think is going to be that far off. So the final, and in my personal opinion, the most interesting one across the three videos that we have done on these new voices, this has got to be the most interesting. So it all started off on July 20th when Scott posted this audition called Kid on the Run, This is a Bad Situation. The tags for this listing include English, North American, Child, 
attitude, endearing male child 5 to 12. It had a deadline of July 23rd, 2022, but the most damning thing about this entire listing is if you look to the left, you will see the ward count is 4,000 wards, and the finish minutes is 26 minutes and 40 seconds. To put that in perspective, that is roughly double the length of Mr. Hippo's dialogue in Ultimate Custom Night. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of talking. So whoever this character is, they are going to have a lot of talking to do. Well, maybe not, because you see, Scott did not actually choose a voice actor to fill that role, and he instead changed up the audition and reposted it. The audition was renewed on July 23rd, the deadline for the first one, and it now had a deadline of July 26th. And now, the tags are as followed. English, North American, Child, Attitude, Endearing, Female, Child, 5 to 12. The ward count went from 4,000 all the way down to 3,000, and the finished minutes went from 26 something something something, I forget already, uh, down to exactly 20 minutes on the dot. So there are two possibilities for this role. Either Scott changed the character, um, dialogue included, right? He got rid of a thousand wards and chopped the um, finished minutes down by like seven minutes, um, or this is a completely new character. Even though it has the same title, Kid on the Run, this is a bad situation, maybe this is a whole new kid. And instead of it being a male talking for <laughs> nearly 30 minutes, this time it's a female talking for only 20 minutes. This one's tricky, okay? Because those two possibilities can, can put the story in different ways, right? Now all of a sudden it's two kids um, you know, a male and a female, as opposed to now all of a sudden, it is a, it's a female instead of a male. You see how it's interesting like that? Huh, I'm saying the word again. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what this has to do with the story. I'm guessing it's gonna have some sort of sig significance because you don't, you don't just put in a character into a game with over 25 minutes of dialogue and have them say nothing. So clearly, whoever this character is, no matter what gender they are, whoever voices this character, which we will get to shortly right after this, they are going to be incredibly important to the story of Security Breach. So it's worth noting, because I saw a few comments about this last time, no, this is not Vanny, and no, this is not Tape Girl. Both of those characters already have voice actresses, and unless they got changed for some random reason, then this is not them, because again, they have voice actors. Why Why would they hire a new one, unless maybe the other ones quit, but then again, why would they want to do that? FNAF is great. Well, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, but Johnny Blocks, who took that role? Well, it is none other than Tara Sands. I just realized, I never I never discussed who I thought Kid on the Run could be. Kid on the Run. Well, they, they've got to be running away from something. Maybe they are running away from the animatronics. Maybe they're running away from the pizzeria. Maybe they are running away from William Afton or Vanny. I don't know. It's a bad situation. Whatever they, got, whatever they have gotten themselves into, it's a bad situation. Uh, maybe they discovered the motors, maybe they discovered about Remnant and how the characters are possessed, I don't know. Whoever it is though, they are going to be incredibly important to the story. Also, Taylor left a review for Scott saying Scott was great to work with. Yeah, so that is the update for Security Breach. So after doing three full videos on these new voices, I think it's, you know, pretty safe to say that there are going to be a lot of new voices to look out for in Security Breach when it releases sometime later this year. And again, this all could be for Scott's individual project that he is working on, but again, just like I said at the beginning, we know nothing about that. If we're going off of when Scott told us he was making this game, uh, then he's been working on it for a couple of months, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's getting close to being finished, because Scott is a very, very busy guy right now. You know, he's writing stuff for the movie, he's writing the books, he's helping, uh, working on the games with, uh, Illumix and Steel Wolf and Click Team, because they're still porting out all of the games, so he's working with a lot of people right now, and that doesn't necessarily leave him with a whole lot of time to himself to make this game. Plus, he's got a family. However, he did say that this new game that he's working on is coming out later this year, so I guess we have two games coming out later this year, uh, whatever Scott's working on right now, um, and Security Breach. So, whatever these voices are for, 
We're gonna find out later this year. So thank you all so much for watching. If you missed the past videos covering the voices, they're linked in the description below. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.